when do you start um, performing this? Well, our uh, premiere is going to be May 6th at Something Jazz Club in New York City. But, um, um, and we will be recording and we're um, hoping to be performing um, for a little while. You know, at least a year or two, you know, after the CD comes out. But, um, so that's our plan. But our very first premiere is going to be May 6th. Like, when did you know about it? Um, well, actually, I was probably like four or five years of age back in Japan. I grew up, um, I was raised by very strict Christian parents, so they didn't allow any music other than classical music, and they wanted me to become a concert violinist, and that was the only thing they want, wanted me to do. So, um, but the only thing that was outside of classical music that I was exposed to was music of Rui Sakamoto and a YMO, Yellow Magic Orchestra, because of my brother, my older brother, he was really into YMO, so he bought every LP that <laughs> came out, and so I will hide, you know, from my parents, I would listen to every um, uh, YMO record that ever came out growing up, starting at, like, very early age, like, before elementary school, I was, like, um. probably like five, six, seven, and I yeah, that's the age, really. So yeah, that was that. That's how I was exposed <laughs> mm -hmm. to. But I couldn't really pursue non-classical music because that wasn't allowed. You know, so my parents would never even dream of me doing anything other than mm -hmm. becoming a concert violinist. So um, you know, doing anything uh, like jazz. But um, after I um, founded my ensemble, which is called the Pan Asian Chamber Jazz Ensemble, mm -hmm. in two thousand five. Um, that was like initial like um, inception, and then we started performing in 2006. Um, I always thought, you know, maybe with this ensemble, I want to play Rui Sakamoto's music, right? I thought about it, but I didn't know exactly how to do it. But last year, Rui Sakamoto had a worldwide search for his uh, violinist for his mm -hmm. trio, mm -hmm. and um, so there's a, there was this open call for um, violinists to uh, to be considered and so um, some you know one of my friends from New York told me about it so I decided to send a few of my tracks mm -hmm. to um, to um, you know Rui Sakamoto and he happened to like my playing and I got um, I was one of the people considered to be touring with him in his mm -hmm. trio um, unfortunately, though I thought I would have been a really great uh, violinist for his trio because I feel like I have so much to contribute, he, you know, ended up picking someone else, actually someone I went to school with at Juilliard, so, um, but um, I wrote some new arrangements for this, uh, for, for, for the audition, mm -hmm. and, that, and that sort of like initial, um, so contact started then. So he knew who I was, he was considering me for his trio, and so after that I said, you know what, he didn't pick me, okay, so now why don't I pick him, why don't I play his music anyways, you mm -hmm. know, so that's how I started, that was, this was last that's summer, yes. so that was really nice, because mm -hmm. I was, I realized how much uh, Rui Sakamoto's music had influenced me as a, as a very young child, I had um, age 12, Compositions, twelve wow. tunes by Rui Sakamoto. So which is? Um, oh my gosh! <laughs> you know every piece. Mm -hmm. um, well, there are different you know albums, right? He has like electronica, you know, like a lot of synthesizer right. and and you know that sound, and then he has film scores. So mm -hmm. there are just many different uh, different challenges for different genres of music, mm -hmm. and his genre is very kind of vague. It's mm -hmm. so it was it, musically it was a great challenge to um, choose to make the decision of which elements of this in this particular you know let's say piece. Uh, should be considered for uh, you know main, as a main melody and which is it for instance you know um, if it's an electronica you know is this element really necessary to be considered as a part of the new arrangement or not you know so so that was very whereas I guess for film scores you know it's very clear that what the melody is and what the harmony is and what you know where the main part is so um, 
and and some tunes are more like songs. That's very easy. You know, you can just make a lead sheet and play play it down and add my arrangement. But some of you know the electronic, you know, early nineteen seventies music from his um, debut album, um, A Thousand Knives. That the album. Um, that's I think. I think I have to say the tunes from that album, his debut album from nineteen seventy nine. I think that's probably my favorite performed by the top jazz musicians in New York Helen Sun on piano mm -hmm. Anne Drummond on flute and Desmond Douglas on bass and EJ Strickland on uh, on the drums so they will all be contributing to the music so mm -hmm. I'm very looking forward to um, to what they they will you know bring to the table and it will be I know it will be great but uh, I think I will have different favorites at, you know, after the recording is over. I started violin lessons at four. Mm. Um, my mother discovered my perfect pitch, so mm. he, she would like he would play like a random note, but you know, what's this note? And I, would, I can say if you know that's F sharp, you know, a final mm. sharp, you know, wow. and like any note, you know, mm. uh, you know, a whatever. So I was able to do that at a very young age, and so she thought, you know, she, you know, I should play the violin, and also. She wanted me to learn a difficult instrument because she said, this is her, her theory. By the time a child realizes that she wants to really study the violin, mm. that's going to be too late because violin <laughs> is so competitive. So mm. you have to start at a very, very young age. Mm. And so if you, know, you, you want to really play the violin at the age of eight, you will never make it to Juilliard. <laughs> so I'm very thankful for my mother to, um, to start it, me on, you know, piano and violin at four and oh, wow. That's I had the opportunity to tour all over Asia with the Asian Youth Orchestra mm. and that's when I realized oh my gosh I have to get out of this you know get get out of Japan there's just so much going on mm. you know outside of Japan and and I wanted to come to America because I really liked the sound of American English and I wanted to just kind of perfect it I wanted to become <laughs> American so I decided oh okay mm. and I studied um, English every day, mm -hmm. so I studied at 24/7, taught myself English every day, and decided to come to America. and And I had my Kennedy Center debut that year um, in oh, 1992. That was my big debut, solo debut at Kennedy Center, and so I ended up staying in America since oh, then. So cool. <laughs> I went to Juilliard, and I was a classical major for a long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, Actually, I, I have a degree, I mean, master in master's um, MM music, I mm. guess master's music mm. in, um, as a classical violinist, but now I'm a jazz violinist and a composer. Mm. 